Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, honey. And today I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot horoscope messages for August 30th to September 5th, baby. Can you believe it? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. If you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading today, uh, Aquarius, let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how. So that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. Uh, but to put this in perspective, Aquarius, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So take the tarot cards that resonate, honey. Leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to be considering today, Aquarius, but never making the decisions in your life because it's not my life to live, not these tarot cards' life to live, it's your life. So, all that being said, Aquarius, let's just jump into your weekly tarot reading today, right? Let's see what's going on, baby. We have the air right off the bat, starting out strong, Aquarius. We have the strength card coming in, Archangel Ariel, number 11 for numerology. So go ahead and write that number down for me to look up at a later point, uh, Aquarius. Gemini got Ariel as well. <sighs> Excuse me. Ooh. Sorry. Uh, great inner strength coming in, release harsh judgments and forgiveness and compassion. Then we have, also if you're open to working with Archangels, uh, Aquarius Archangel Ariel is calling out to you this week. Darling, I am so sorry. I had like a little bit of a sip of soda and I regret it already. Uh, <laughs> Nine of Earth, Nine of Pentacles, Aquarius. This card says enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time out alone, and successful self-employment. Then finally, Aquarius, we have the Ten of Earth, Ten of Pentacles. Fabulous. Uh, very happy family life, financial security, and finding the magic in little things in life. So, Aquarius, right now I feel like you guys are in a fairly good place, struggling, but in a still overall, at the very least, you're on the path towards success, right? You're on the path towards success, and I just feel as if you guys are going through... I can't help, I'm gonna just say this, right? Cause this is pure, at this point, this is all purely intuitive. So take this as you will, Aquarius. But I get this sense that you guys have, the number two came to mind. I heard two obstacles. Like, I feel like you have like two more like obstacles for you guys to be going through Aquarius. You're going through one of them currently for sure. Um, probably in terms of like, you know, whatever your objective is, but I feel like a lot of you guys in terms of uh, tending to yourselves, right? Uh, Nine of Pentacle energy. So in terms of your employment, uh, finances, yeah, it's more so just like overall concern of like stability. Um, and I feel as if, yeah, as I was saying, I feel like you guys can need to go through just like a couple more obstacles and then that's when the abundance really happens for you, Aquarius. I feel like I just keep hearing the words push through now. And I need to like talk about it so I can actually clear my mind from it. Uh, just like the strong message Aquarius of asking you to push through with something because you're not going to regret it. I'm now being shown, <laughs> girl, Aquarius, I'm really connected to y'all's guides. They're having, they're sh like being so loud and showing me so many images. Um, I'm sh being shown like a pot of gold <laughs> and at the end of a rainbow Aquarius. So this is signifying to me. Um, so you being on a long journey to get to the end of this rainbow and finally accomplishing what it is that you've been hoping to accomplish, right? So let's get some clarifiers on all of this, Aquarius. First card coming in, King of Cups coming in. Then we have the, ooh, the Devil card coming in with the King of Swords. Interesting dynamic. So Aquarius, I feel it's like, this is like the trials that you're going through right now. It's very much so challenging your emotional state and your mental state. I feel like right now I wouldn't be surprised Aquarius if you guys have been really fighting with some type of depression or whatever this devil card is. Like I feel like it's like it taps into more than one thing, right? So what I mean by this is like maybe there's some stress in the workplace, but it's because of the stress in the workplace. Now you're not only stressing about your workplace, you're stressing about your money and it's also affecting your emotions and your like your mental state so when you get home you end up being depressed as well it feels like whatever this devil is it's like a lingering energy right and i would say because the devil card does represent obstacles as well uh, i feel like that's kind of like your test right girl i almost dropped these cards 
Knight of Wands with the Nine of Pentacles again. But here's the thing, you have this overall com constant message, uh, Aquarius, of where it's just like, if you were to continue to persevere, right, that's when the successful self-employment happens, right? You got Nine of Pentacles twice. Knight of Wands is all very quickly too. Um, when it's paired like this, this is showcasing to me, like once the ball gets going, it's going to go really quick so i like to use analogies aquarius so let's just use myself for simplicity's sake right it's like almost as if like let's just say like my youtube channel right going through a little bit of a lull and then like once it starts picking up right a couple videos get taken off and start taking off and like it's like a snowball effect of like a lot of positivity coming in. But I wouldn't have gotten to that point if I didn't fight through the lull of uh, my channel, right? If I didn't fight through the times where I just don't feel like recording, so on and so forth. Insert the details, replace the details with an adjective, with your situation. I feel like that's just the overall vibe for you in this situation Aquarius so all that being said let's actually just get into the good things that are in the works for you Aquarius let's tap into that three of air three of swords coming in great sadness taking time to heal the need to forgive yourself Aquarius or others then we have the ego card the devil card coming in twice you've had two cards right off the bat Aquarius coming in twice Archangel Jophiel number six same spiel number six for numerology if you feel called to it same with jo uh, Jophiel. I always like to say though, uh, after the first Archangel, I feel as if the rest are just intuitive uh, for you if you feel called to it rather. Two of air coming in. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate and pretending there isn't a problem. So the good things that are in the works for you, that devil card is, again, as I was saying, I feel like it's going to be quickly rectified, right? Because of this ego card coming in here and it's paired with the three of air and the two of air. So it's almost as if you're going to be left with a choice where it's like, well, yes, we have this uh, ego or rather this devil card coming in to, um, cut it out uh you're being left you're having to make the decision to chop off the devil's head essentially you're being you're being given the sword to be like all right do you cut off this head or do you choose to give this another chance aquarius right so again this is all about whatever your objective is some of you guys is going to be like oh do i consider going back to this job again um or what have you i feel like the choice is going to be yours to make and yours alone so let's get some clarifiers Page of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. Didn't we pull this for you? No, we didn't. Okay. And then the Hermit card coming in, Aquarius. <sighs> hmm. It's funny because we have the Ten of Wands here, which addresses baggage as well, which is really just the good things constantly coming in for you is like just really like a release of stress, a release of weights being like, it feels like you have a lot of pressure on your shoulders. And I don't know if this is just like responsibility that was put on you, Aquarius, or maybe that's just like through your own choosing. Hermit card coming in though with the Page of Pentacles. I feel as if someone's going to be extending communication or like how are this rectifies itself, right? How are this devil card gets rectified? I feel like it partially comes in with a new presence showing up uh, for you, Aquarius, because the Page of Pentacles, it's on one level in terms of socially, it's someone extending their pentacle out to you. But at another level where I see the Page of Pentacles as, is I see it as a card of where a pathway is being paved, a new, you know, it's like, uh, the street lamps turning on when they've been off for a long time for a path that you didn't see until those street lights were turned on, right? So it's something that you have the opportunity to put energy into that wasn't there for but before. Right? I don't know why I'm struggling to speak for you guys right now, Aquarius. <laughs> um, so I like this energy a lot. Let's see how this turns out, though. Uh, the messenger card coming in with the death card. So definite closures. Uh, you're definitely going to be, as I was saying, didn't I just say earlier, Aquarius, where I was just like, you're like, this devil card's going to be rectified, but you're going to be given the sword. You're going to be given the, like, you're going to be the one that has to have the final say and be like, oh, chop off this devil's head. It's time to put a close to this, right? So whatever that devil looks like to you, obviously, I mean, figuratively, I do not want to have to hear about how someone chopped off 
off someone's head um, in real life because they watched a tarot reading of mine, like, girl, no. Um, what I mean by this is just, like, you're cutting it off. You're cutting out the access or availability that that devil has with you. So overall, the good thing is coming where it's just, like, quite literally where it's, like, the, is the issues that you're stressing about now are going to be rectified really soon. All right, now, Aquarius, let's get into your spirit guide and ancestor messages for today. Uh, see what guidance they have for you this week. We have, firstly, the Queen of Air, Queen of Swords. This card says, objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, and seeing the humor in a situation. And then we have the Five of Water, Five of Cups. Things are not turning out the way that you'd hope, not seeing the positive in a situation, and crying over spilled milk, Aquarius. And then finally, we have the Eight of Water, Eight of Cups. Uh, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual, and emotional growth. So Aquarius, the messages that you have here, the Queen of Swords is a card of where, or Queen of Air, uh, is a card of where it's she puts a boundary she keeps people at bay keeps things at a distance and so with this eight of cups here you some of you all might have noticed like my reaction when i first pulled it because it's right after the five of water um i'm getting this sense here where it's just like you need to put your guard up or put boundaries with yourself on once something like with this five of cups here i feel as if this is like and i feel like you're actively still working on it currently aquarius where it's like you're trying to make something work it's like you're trying to pick up the being shown like uh like you dropped a plate and then now you're trying to glue back the pieces together in hopes that you can make it work aquarius and i feel like this is kind of a message where it's just like no baby just like keep it moving like you can buy another dish right there's like an even better plate than before but don't try to pick up the pieces with this thing learn to learn to when to, learn when to call the time of death on something right when someone dies in surgery it's up to the doctors it's up to the surgeons to call the time of death on something sometimes they have to be told to be like call the time doctor right because they don't want to give up on giving cpr to a patient or girl whatever you do in a surgery room surgery stuff um so yeah just learn when to call the time of death uh ace of pentacles coming in here empress card coming in here six of swords coming in here so quite literally um again this message of for you aquarius where it's like when you start calling the time of death on something when you start actually allowing yourself to move on from a situation that just is like Again, you would notice with the Queen of Air, it says clearing away all that no longer serves you. Now, I know my analogy with the surgeon doesn't really sound that lovely with the home no longer serving you, honey. But <laughs> uh, I do get this very strong sense here. It's like the moment you move on, I mean, I'm pretty sure I pulled the Ace of Pentacles for you beforehand. Um, there's just a lot of success for you. I feel like the right direction for you, Aquarius, is to look into a new direction, just keeping it moving. And this time, like really, flighty energy is going to be your friend, essentially, Aquarius. And usually I'm not telling somebody to just be flighty, but it's like, this usually I tell people it's just like obstacles are there to teach you something and they all are aquarius but the obstacles here are are here to teach you how to just learn to when to call it quits not to try to beat your head against a brick wall aquarius all right with all that being said aquarius let's get into how people are perceiving you uh today let's see what uh what's going on there socially so how this reading works is i'm going to be connecting to an energy i'll be talking about the attributes of them aquarius if they resonate with you then this reading's for you if it doesn't then that's fine uh this could be pertaining to a soulmate twin flame work relationship marriage what have you social um it's not meant for everybody so if i talk about the attributes and you're just like i don't know who you're talking about it's not for you that's fine i believe with these readings they're meant to reach very specific people each week so uh we have the magician card coming in archangel Raziel. you're ready you have the resources to manifest or the ability to manifest life is magical we have the king of fire king of wands I don't like this energy. <laughs> Not a bad energy, but I'll get it to it. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with a vision and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. And then finally, Aquarius, we have, wow, uh, the Awakening card, Archangel Gabriel, looking at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. So as I was saying, Aquarius, I don't like this energy. Not because it's bad, but it, this feels like a very controlling energy. 
right? Just very controlling. They like to be in charge, Aquarius. And if they're not in charge, then they don't, it's like, it's like they don't care about, not that they don't care about other people's person. Well, maybe, and that's me giving the benefit of the doubt. Um, it's, yeah, especially with the Magician and the King of Fire, I don't feel as if they don't care. I feel as if they don't care, to be quite blunt. This is someone who's probably extremely self-centered, um, very much so, like, anything they do that's, like, God's gift, essentially. Y'all can tell I'm not really a fan of this energy. Uh, yeah, I don't, like, this is just very much so loud energy as well. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see what their intentions are, Aquarius. The Magician card. Girl. Two of Swords. And then the Six of Cups. So you do definitely know this person. They're trying to come in with an offer, but the thing is, it's like an offer of like, almost presenting, I would say, an ultimatum. Uh, ultimatum or this situation where it's like, you have to pick a side, you have to pick a, you have to make a choice with something, Aquarius, whatever it is that they present to you. And again, this is me just projecting, I guess, at this point, but with the magician coming in twice, the magician clarifying the magician, this is very controlling energy. And I feel like whatever is coming to them, like whatever they're presenting to you, especially with how self-centered these cards are, or like the energy of them, I suppose, are, I feel like they're kind of only doing like, I feel like it benefits them the most, and that's why they're coming in with this offer. It's not like they're looking at you, Aquarius, and they're just like, oh yeah, let me help out Aquarius. I feel like this is like, they're seeing like an opportunity and they're trying to come forward with it. But that's just based off of like all this controlling energy. Let's do one more. Three of Pentacles, yeah, this is like, they wanna work with you on something. Maybe it's not a bad thing, right? Obviously it's gonna be different for everybody. Only thing I'm gonna tell, I'm not gonna tell you how to handle the relationship, obviously. But I do feel as if you want to think it through carefully before you sign or before you agree to anything, Aquarius. See how much it actually is benefiting you before you sign up for something. Make sure that it's actually profitable or benefit beneficial for you. I'm not saying that it's not and this person's only thinking about themselves. I mean, I guess I kind of am. Um, but they're coming to you for a reason. It's not just to help you out, Aquarius. They're very self-centered. So make sure you're good with you, you first. Don't be afraid of saying no, right? No is a complete sentence, honey. But uh, Aquarius, that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you today, darling. Uh, let me know which cards resonate with you and how. Uh, if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me, Aquarius, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. Um, next to my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that just being Simply Valka, honey. And yeah, hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future, Aquarius. Until then, though, I love you so much. Bye.